The iPhone keeps on getting more water resistant as each year goes by. And this year, Apple says that the new iPhone 11 and 11 Pro are even more water resistant than previous phones. Now we've already tested last year's iPhone XR and XS here in beautiful Monterey Bay to see how deep we could actually take them. And turns out they're actually a lot more water resistant than Apple gives them credit for. So with the new phones, we are gonna take things to the next level. And guess what? I'm on a mother bleeping boat. <laughs> my friend Eric from So Far Ocean Technologies who helped us out last year with this really awesome tool called the Trident which is an underwater drone. Tell me what this drone can actually do. Uh, so this is a tool that's built to allow people to see parts of the world no one has seen before. Um, it basically sends video up to the surface and you can drive it around just like an aerial drone but it can go to 100 meters depth so you can see parts of the world that are totally undiscovered and we wanted to make it so anyone could do that. This is going to be incredible okay so like enough talking about stuff above surface let's go down and do our first dive let's do it <laughs> So for our first dive, we are going to test the claim. So the iPhone 11 is two meters for 30 minutes, whereas the 11 Pro is four meters for 30 minutes. Now, seeing as we've already tested last year's 10R, which was the previous version of the 11, it actually survived a lot deeper than we thought it would. So we're just gonna cut straight to the chase, go right down to four meters to get us started and see how they both survive. So before we start diving with the phones, I'm gonna do a quick voice recording on both of them. So then when they come out of the water, I can play it back and see what the speaker sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three, voice recording on the iPhone 11 Pro. Testing, testing, one, two, three, voice recording on the iPhone 11. Well done, let's dunk them. All right, let's start the timer. Here we go. All right. All right. Wish good, it luck. Good luck, phones. You can do it. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, three two, one. Okay, let's pull them out. We made right. it to 30 minutes. Yep. Okay. All right. And we're at the top. Here it comes. And they both seem to still be running. Excellent. Okay. Now we're here. So first up, let's test the 11. Now this wasn't rated to go down as deep as we took it. I'm just testing the touch screen. It looks like it's still fully functional. Camera? Snap a photo on the rear camera. Snap a selfie. They look good. Okay, now let's listen to some audio and see how that sounds. Testing, testing, one, two, three, voice recording on the iPhone 11. Sounds okay, it's still audible. It does sound that like there's a little bit of water in that speaker. And I think with a little extra drying out, it should, it should be fine. But everything's still working as expected iPhone 11 Pro. Looks like the touch screen is still working fine. Right, okay, camera time. Rear camera, all of the lenses seem to be working. That ultra wide, wide and the 2X telephoto. Selfie camera. Looks fine, okay, let's check the voice. Testing, testing, one, two, three, voice recording on the iPhone 11. Definitely sounds louder than the iPhone 11, but there is a little bit more distortion and it does sound like there's still some water in there. I think perhaps the 11 has had the speaker a little dampened from the underwater treatment, but overall it's sounding surprisingly good for being submerged. So they're okay after four meters or around three and a half meters. Let's go 
to the next level, which is going to be around eight meters, right? Eight meters. That's pretty cool. And you know, we're, we're just about 10 meters, which would be two atmospheres. We'd be doubling the amount of pressure that these phones are normally around. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Fingers Don't crossed. Go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Just past 30 minutes underwater at eight meters, and the, both of the phones are still working. All right, so I'm uh, piloting it off the ground now, and then we'll just pull it back with the tether and see how everything looks. All right. Yeah, they both look good. Still going, and we left it slightly longer than 30 minutes. Incredible, okay. Pull them off and dry them off. Both the phones are looking pretty good. 11 first. Touch screen is still working. All right, let's open up the camera now and see. Take a photo that way. Selfie. Selfie camera is working too. All right, let's do the audio test now. Not bad. I mean, not great sounding, but it still works, which is pretty crazy considering the depth. All right, let's take a listen to the 11 Pro. Check the screen. It all seems to be working. It's responding to my touches. Camera. Okay, wide, ultra wide, 2X. Okay, selfie. Seems to be working fine. The images look fine. No evidence of fogging or anything like that. And finally, the voice test. Microphones, all right. Testing, testing, one, two, three, voice recording on the iPhone 11 Pro. Sounds a lot softer than the first dive, although it doesn't sound as waterlogged as the speaker from the iPhone 11. So I think for this test, both of them have survived just fine. So that just means we have to go even deeper. I think at least 12 meters this time. Okay, let's put them back on and go even deeper than before. I just can't believe they're still good. So let's start the timers on the phones and then dunk the trident. Good luck phones. Good luck phones. Whoa. All right, they're in the water. <laughs> believe they actually made it both of them it's incredible the only issue that we had was it looks like the screen was touched or changed from the timer screen that we had running so let's see when we pull it to the surface if it's actually an issue with the touch screen or it was just a phantom press here we go there they are all right still going strong okay iPhones Okay, so dried both of them off. Now let's take a look at the screen. Still working, it's responding to all of the touches. Let's take a look at the camera. The wide and the ultra wide. Taking the photo okay, no evidence of fogging. Selfie. The front facing camera is okay. So let's take a listen to the speaker. To me, it sounds the same as the previous dunk. It still sounds acceptable. Again, let's try with the 11 Pro. Touchscreen is working okay. So when it did go off underwater and it changed the screen, it must have just been a phantom press. It wasn't an error with the touchscreen at all. So it's still working. Okay, camera. Let's do wide, ultra wide, and two times, front camera. Okay, it all looks fine. I'm so surprised. Okay, the voice and the speaker. It 
sounds okay. Again, I think there's some volume loss there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them both and dry them out completely, come back and reassess. But wow, this is beyond the scope of how deep most people would ever drop their phones. Plus it was in salt water with an incredible amount of pressure underwater as well. Not a scientific experiment, but still very, very impressive that both of these phones survived and they look like new. I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. So it's been 72 hours since we dunked these phones in the drink and since then I haven't touched them at all with the exception of rinsing them off with clean fresh water or tap water as Apple suggests, drying them off with a lint-free towel and just letting them sit and to see if all of that water will be dried out. So let's turn them on and run through a couple tests and see how they did. So first up, the iPhone 11 turns on okay. Did notice there was a tiny little bit of scratching on the screen but the touchscreen itself still works, it seems to be responsive. The physical buttons are still working just fine, up and down like so. The toggle, yeah, that all seems to be working. The camera looks okay. Selfie camera. No, I can't see any, any fogging, just a couple of fingerprints there, I think. So I'm gonna test the microphone now. Testing iPhone 11 72 hours after being submerged. Testing iPhone 11 72 hours after being submerged. Definitely sounds a lot clearer than when we first tested it after being dunked. Okay, let's see if it will take a charge now. Okay, plugged it in. It's charging. Seems to be working totally as normal. All right, let's test out the iPhone 11 Pro. Same thing. Screen is fine responding to touches, volume rocker and physical buttons, they're all working fine. Camera, still all working, plus the selfie camera, can't see any fogging, a little bit of dirt there, it'll come off easily. Let's test the microphone. Testing the iPhone 11 Pro, 72 hours after dunking. Testing the iPhone 11 Pro, 72 hours after dunking. Sounds pretty good. Definitely better than what it was when we first tested it after being dunked. Okay, let's see if it charges. It's charging fine, just like it would if it wasn't submerged. Looking good. Okay, so one final test that I wanted to do with these phones was to see if there was any issue with the volume of the speaker. I'm gonna compare a track played on both of these phones to a track played from a fresh iPhone 11 and see if there was any difference in the sound level at all. And I have the Apple Watch Series 5 to give us a bit of a sound and decibel reading. All right, volume is at maximum, let's go. About the same, maybe one or two decibels louder. Okay, so those have been the phones that were dunked. Now let's listen on phones that haven't been compromised. Same track, let's listen. iPhone 11 first. Definitely a little bit louder and there's a bit more definition there in the song as well. So that was the 11. Let's listen to the 11 Pro. However, this is an 11 Pro Max, so that might affect the result, but let's take a listen anyway. So again, slightly louder, but not by all that much. It definitely sounds a bit more defined on the phone that hasn't been dunked compared to the phones that were under Monterey Bay, but overall, pretty much everything is working as expected. Apple says that liquid damage is not covered under warranty, so don't try this at home. And of course, this isn't a scientific test. We were just having some fun to see how far we could take these. A big thank you to Captain Phil from Underwater Company and Eric Stackpole from So Far Ocean Technology. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for way more extreme phone testing here on CNET. So we took these phones as deep as we could take them, but they didn't break. And maybe that's what you wanted to see. So if you have any ideas of how I can get more extreme in testing these phones, leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do.